Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Welcome to Wake and Stretch Day 5. So today we'll work, um, we'll have more time in the standing big toe hold. Utita hasta para gustasana. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna work into that. It will be a bit of an active flow. So make sure that you have any props that you need with you. Do what you need to to take care of yourself. And we will start actually in a Shavasana. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the music on. Uh, go ahead and get comfy in your Shavasana, any props that you need, and we will start momentarily. All right, here we go. Hope that volume is good. I apologize for any ambient noise. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a morning voice. Uh, for any ambient noise that may be happening, uh, you may hear some raking, <laughs> you may hear the traffic go by, but you'll definitely hear birds. So enjoy that portion, focus on the birds and the music of my voice. Yeah. All right, so finding your Shavasana. Rotate that right leg, find pigeon. It's okay if it's all shallow, we're just trying to wake up the hips and the, the back a little bit. Good, from here, left foot comes flat onto the mat. Bring the right leg parallel, extend it out. Gentle hamstring stretch. Toes are pulled back to get the calf muscle as well. Good, hug both knees to the chest, give a little rock. From side to side. Switch to the other side. Left thigh pulls into the chest, right leg is down, heel presses into the mat. And outwardly rotate that left leg, knee to the armpit. Bring the left leg across the body, spinal twist. Back through center, outwardly rotate the left leg, find your reclined pigeon. Right foot now comes flat onto the mat, release the left leg, bring it to parallel, gentle hamstring stretch. start to engage the abdominal muscles. So bring the legs to about a 90 degree angle, shin bones parallel to the ground. Hands come behind the legs, you're holding onto your hamstrings. Take a nice inhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. As you exhale, scoop the belly and balance up in both poses. You're going to inhale, roll back to the shoulders.
holding onto your forearms because your wrists are unhappy, then do that. Inhale the right leg up about an inch. Exhale, side of the chest, curl the spine. Inhale, extend, pressing the heel straight back behind you. Exhale, pull it in. One more time. And step that foot through, find your low lunge. Back toe is tucked, so that this, what side is that? The, the left hip flexor gets nice and open. Gets a little deeper into the psoas. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice long stretch through the torso. Exhale, hands to the inside of the front foot. Flip into skandasana, your side lunge. Staying upright, working on the balance. Hands can go where you need them to go. Support the pose. Hands down to the mat. Flip it back to your high lunge. Step it back to plank. Take a vinyasa. Two full breaths here, either in down dog or in a child's pose. straight back behind you. Exhale, pull it through. One more time. And then step it through. Low lunge with the back toe. <sighs> Breathing into those hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice long stretch through the body. Exhale, hands to the inside of the front foot. Flip it into your skandasana side lunge. Pressing the right heel down into the mat. It's very active over there. Finding the balance. Finding the breath. Allow the hands to come back down to the mat. Flip into your regular high lunge. Step it back. Vinyasa.
Inhale, pull it up and in. Exhale, press it out. Inhale, up and in. Exhale, grab the under the thigh, the shin bone, the outer foot, or the big toe. Bring the torso up, roll the shoulders back. Really clamp the toe and the fingers together. Extend the leg up. Breathing. From here, outwardly rotate. Nice tall spine. Remember if the knee is bent, if you need to keep your hand on the shin bone, keep the hand on the shin bone, wherever you need it to be. Then bring it back to parallel. Hands release onto each other. Press it back to warrior three. Standing split. Reach it back, high lunge. Child. Allow yourself the opportunity to feel what's going on here in the body, in the legs, in your breath. All right, go ahead and extend those arms out. Find down. the big toe hold one more time now that we did triangle pose and the inner thighs inner part of the hamstrings that is uh, opened up a little bit more so just from here from Tadasana shift your weight over into the left foot left hand to the waist right hand can hold on to the leg where it needs to inhale lift the chest exhale extend the leg roll the 
shoulder back, nice tall spine. Gently bring the leg out to the side, keeping the hips square. Head rotates away from that upper leg, the floating leg. Bring it back to parallel. Exhale, release. Let's keep the leg straight this time. Point the foot. Hopefully that hip flexor is a little bit stronger than it was at the beginning of the week. Gently lower it down. We'll take a half sun salutation. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, hands to the heart. Weight now into the right foot. Right hand to the waist. Left foot and hand connect or around the leg wherever you can grab it. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, let the leg extend. From here, outwardly rotate that floating leg. Head rotates away from the leg. Nice, calm breath. Bring it back to parallel. Gently release, pointing the foot. Two feet on the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive and fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, fold, hands to the mat. Step your foot back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And gently walk the legs through. Seated with the legs in front. Clearly, I'm past the 15 minutes. If you need to go, take a shavasana first. I just get so excited, I can't stick it to the 15. Next week, I'll do that. Sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, folding forward into a nice, soft, easy Paschimottanasana. Letting the body cool down, slow down. Much more passive energy here. And on your inhale, lifting the head. Exhale, gently release. Go ahead and bend the knees. So the feet are flat on your mat. And roll down to the front. Stay here for a few breaths with the feet flat. Send some love to your hips, your hamstrings, your legs, for all that beautiful work they just did. Let the legs open up into reclined bound angle pose. And then let the legs extend. We'll take our Shavasana for a minute. Of course, you can always take it longer than a minute if you'd like. I'm gonna set the timer here. Letting the eyes close, palms flip up, legs at their natural rotation. Take rest. If your mind is wandering, then focus in on your breath. Each inhale, each exhale, and the pauses in between. Take a nice deep breath. Find energy in the fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, hands and feet. And let the arms extend up overhead, legs come together underneath, give a nice long stretch through the body. And hug the knees in towards the chest, give a little rock from side to side. 
find your way onto your right side, fetal position, right arm under the head as a pillow. And gently press yourself up to a seated position, eyes closed. Either hands pressed together at your heart or one on your heart and one on your belly. And check in. How are you feeling physically, mentally, energetically, and spiritually? Take a few moments now for some gratitude, something you're thankful for in this moment, and about three or four reasons why you're thankful for that. Om Shanti 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 Namaste All right So I hope I hope that was useful for you um, to find Utita Hasta Parungustasana Um So next week I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take off Saturday and Sunday uh, my time, so two days off, and then we'll start back next week. And I'll have a new peak pose, thinking back bends, uh, something like that. Um, take a break from the legs so much, using the legs so much. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to contemplate it over the weekends. But in the meantime, have a beautiful weekend whenever you get there. Remember to breathe like and share the video please and um, I will again share the playlist underneath in the description and I will see you on Monday for week two and I'll try to do my my best to stay at 15 minutes <laughs> all right namaste my friends bye thank you for practicing with me if you like the class please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel and be sure to click the bell for email notifications when new videos are released. Let me know how you felt after doing this practice in the comments below. Please share this video if you know someone who might enjoy it. And please consider a donation to help support the production of more fabulous yoga videos for you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste, my friends. Be well and remember to breathe. See you next time.